Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some of your time with me here today. Today, I have another planner video with you, of course. I mean, I, I, I promise I will deliver more than planner content, but right now I've just been loving my planner and doing my planner videos and feeling my planner vibe. So you're gonna have to forgive me for yet another planner video. But um, today we're gonna be working in my uh, my Franken planner here, which is just my um, my planner that has a bunch of different planners combined in it. I'm gonna be working in my Skinny Mini planner, which um, the Skinny Mini is the probably one of the smallest sizes of planner that the Happy Planner as a company offers. I have been using this uh, for prayer lately. I used to use it for affirmations and that was great and um, I decided to, sh to, to shift it, shift the purpose of this to be a prayer planner and so I've been really enjoying it for that and yeah so if you're interested in seeing how I set up my little skinny mini for prayer for the upcoming week um, just keep on watching here. So I'm going to be real with you right now. I've had such a busy week. I am pretty tired from it and I actually just finished up a conference I was part of today, which today is Saturday. I'm filming this Saturday afternoon and it lasted from Thursday till today. It was a really intense, um, you know, I learned a lot, but definitely my brain has definitely been fried. So um, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit rough around the edges right now. I haven't filmed in a minute, so whenever I stop filming, I definitely get, I lose, I lose my, my smoothness. I'm kind of rough. So you're gonna have to bear with me this video. I'm a little bit all over the place, a bit scattered brained and to top it all off it's a mercury retrograde so in case you don't know mercury retrograde is that um, time in the year when mercury appears to reverse its um, its its path in the sky so it goes one way for the majority of the year and then once twice a year it uh, it reverses direction quotation marks it looks from the earth's vantage point that it reverses direction it doesn't really reverse direction it's just um it just looks like that it appears to because we how we how we're moving on planet earth in relation to how mercury's moving it suddenly we've reached a point where um just how we're positioned in the sky it look it just is like an optical illusion that mercury um is going backwards but um that's mercury retrograde and mercury retrograde is a time of communication difficulties <laughs> And so um, you, you tend to have a lot of breakdown in communication, particularly tech, technology, um, you know, laptops die, you know, uh, you have trouble with electronic things, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's such, it's such an exhausting time because you have to fight against all these little mishaps, all of these like miscommunications. And yeah, so I've been a little bit fried from that as well so i'm hoping that everyone has been sailing the mercury retrograde um fine enough and yeah i just we're gonna finish it's gonna finish in in on monday this coming monday here so here's hoping to a fresh new start Anyways, let's get into the plan with me. So this is my skinny mini like I mentioned. I used to use it for affirmations because it's such a perfect format for that. It's so tiny that I really can't do too much um, on the day to day. Like just writing one sentence like takes up the entire day. I don't see what how people use this <laughs> like in like if I only had this tiny little thing um to to write my plans in i don't i don't know how i would function it's just way too small for me and um i i was using this for affirmations to have a little i would write an affirmation every day to kind of um just get me going in the mornings and uh just encourage me to think positively and at the beginning of the month i decided to change this planner from being my affirmation planner to being my prayer planner and instead of writing an affirmation, I was gonna write a prayer every day or every other day, depending on, you know, how I set it up. 
And so I just started doing that at the beginning of the month. And this was the, the spread that I did for the first week in October. We're currently in the second week, week of October. And this is the spread that I did for this week. So we're currently, um, it's currently the 16th, Saturday. And then I'm gonna be going ahead and decorating the spread here. So we're just gonna get into it. And I'm gonna pull for um, maybe some of these fall stickers because we are really getting into, into fall and I just want to play around with these a little bit. Maybe I'll use this page here. Yeah, let's do that. So we're just gonna start decorating and let's get into it. Yeah, so I just decided one day to switch um, from doing affirmations to doing prayers because um, prayer is something that I've been, uh, I've always wanted to kind of work into my planner system, but I just wasn't sure how I wanted to do that. And originally I was writing my prayers down in my faith section, which, you know, kind of makes sense, right? Like uh, to put your prayers down in wherever you, whatever planner or journal or, you know, notebook that you use for faith. And so I was writing my prayers over there, but um, I also tend to run out of room in that planner section because I write a bunch of other stuff in there besides prayers. Like I'll write Bible quotes or I'll write um car like uh you know buddhist quotes or i'll write things um, about yoga um, tantra like different religious um different religious practices so i'm very multi-faith and um, in addition to doing like traditional bible quotes and you know uh, verse reflections and that kind of stuff i do a lot of other things besides like western christian themed um, religious traditions and uh, prayer isn't necessarily something that needs to be uh, you know like tied to Christianity or Catholicism and I definitely don't approach it um, in that uh, respect at all prayer I think can be you know pretty universal in terms of faith Yay, I finished the sheet here. So I guess I'm re not really explaining why why I decided to move prayer over from um, my like spirituality section. And uh, it's not that I want, there's a reason to separate them. I don't think that um, they need to be separated. It's just that I tend to kind of like run out of room um, to write prayers down in my spirituality section and also I I don't I don't like flip to that section every single day but prayer is something that I want to practice every single day and so I tend to flip to this this skinny mini um, almost every single day because for me it's just a tiny little exercise um, and so I find it very doable um, you know on the day-to-day -day. and so if I don't get into any of my any of my other planners I tend to get into this planner because it's just such a tiny uh, planner that it's very easy to to um, to fill it out and to write an affirmation every day and so um, I guess that's why I decided to go ahead and change it up and um, I just switched this affirmation planner to be a prayer planner. And so now every day or every other day, I write down a prayer for the day. And I, uh, I'm i pretty like flexible with what I pray for, as I think is everyone. Sometimes I'll pray for things for myself, and sometimes I'll pray for other people. And sometimes I'll pray for something very specific and sometimes I'll pray for something that's a little bit more vague and abstract so that's kind of what I've been doing with my little prayer planner here and I've really been enjoying doing that so I'm excited to continue working in my little uh, prayer planner
I'm gonna reach for some of these shiny leaves here. Here in Southern California, it's not super folly. It's still pretty hot, honestly. But in the night, in the evening, it does cool down uh, a bit. And so it's starting to feel like fall. I wish it would hurry up and get colder because these mosquitoes continue to try to eat me alive every time I'm out here trying to film a video for YouTube and I'm just it's f so frustrating because I just want to film a video and you know um, have that little bit of fun and I just get absolutely eaten alive by mosquitoes and my skin just reacts really badly to them and I get these big lumps on my skin when I get uh, when I get bitten and ugh, last time I was out here trying to film I think I I think I got uh, bitten like 15 times and I had these just absolutely disgusting bumps all over my legs and ugh, it was a struggle anyways um I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I know it's it's such a tiny little planner that I really can't do too much in it if I want to write in it. So um, we're gonna leave it like that and I hope you enjoyed this tiny little plan with me. And uh, it definitely, um, <laughs> it was nice to do a small little plan with me before I hop into like a bigger project because I'm just so rusty with filming and I just need to kind of like, you know get get back into the practice all right everyone thanks so much for stopping by and saying hi i really appreciate all the kind words that you leave me in the comments and yeah um, take care of yourself and i'll see you in the, my next video bye